Namaste. In this video, I am going to teach you how to do external flow simulation in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get start. So click on sketch, select the plane on which you want to start. So I am selecting the top plane, click on sketch. After that, draw the geometry as per your requirement. Here, I am making a shaft of 50 mm diameter. Draw your rectangular blades or any other profile of your blades as per your requirement. Here I am entering a value of 10 mm. That is basically the thickness of my blade, 5 mm. And the total length of my blade is 150 mm. <coughs> After that, go to circular sketch pattern. Select this point. Click here and select this point and click on entities to pattern select your rectangle and select this line as well click ok I have made 4 blades but you can increase or decrease the number of blades as per your requirement trim the necessary things after that exit the sketch now select the right plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for no machine to the view draw a straight line here or like this press escape give it a length as per your requirement here i am giving it a length of 200 mm exit the sketch now go to shut both base and click on profile select this rectangle is this profile and Go to options, click on follow path, click on specify twist value, enter the value of twist as per your requirement. Okay, here I am entering a value of 60 degree and you can change it as per your requirement. For example, let's say 70 degree, you can change it as per your requirement. Click OK. After that, select the front plane, click on sketch, press Ctrl plus 8. Now, we will cover this whole body into a circular extrude a question arise why I am doing this part don't worry when I will do the fruit simulation I will tell you and make sure that you uncheck the merge result it is a very important thing else whole fruit simulation is going to be waste click ok now press ctrl plus s save the part as per your requirement I am entering the name of whatever you want blank and go to the flow simulation click on wizard next uh, choose the units as per your requirement i am choosing si units because uh, i am very comfortable with it click on next the flow type is external flow type click on rotation and here you will see reference axis so reference axis is that axis that basically defined in which direction uh, my flow of fluid is okay so currently you will see there are three reference axes x, y and z. Uh, I don't know what is my reference axis. Uh, first we need to find out what is my reference axis. So what I am going to do is click on next, gases, air, sorry, air and uncheck this part acetone. Click on next and next and finish. Now if you watch carefully you will see my reference axis is y axis. So, I have to delete this. There are other way around to do this, but I doesn't know. Uh, I need to learn about that. So this, so I am using this method currently. So click here, click on y axis because the reference cut reference axis is y axis. Okay, click on next. Go to gases, select air. Click on next. Click on next, and what uh, a question is what is the velocity of flow in the reference axis basically here you will define uh, what is the velocity of your flow okay you will define here uh, if you have done internal flow simulation you will basically select faces to do uh, to give input of your flow simulation etc but in external flow simulation you will basically give the input velocity from here so i am entering the value of 3 meter per seconds click ok now click on rotating region 
click on insert rotating region select this okay here you see that i'm able to select this uh, uh, body don't worry uh, some people will ask question that what what, uh, uh, what happened to the profile so don't worry about it when you select this uh, it will select your whole profile correctly enter the value of uh, your radiance for example i'm entering the value of 100 but you can increase or decrease as per your requirement now go to your part right click on revolve click on hide so you can see your profile correctly okay the only reason i have selected that revolve part so that my whole geometry will get considered in that uh, the reason solveworks do that so to calculate to calculate the profile correctly this closed space define where is your geometry and how to calculate it that is the reason solveworks ask a closed body or you will use ansys or any other software the, uh, this is the same procedure in all the software now here you will see the goals so uh, what is the goal of doing this simulation basically i want to see what is the change in pressure etc so select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view draw two points you can draw these two points anywhere so basically i am going to calculate the change in pressure velocity etc before and after going through this plate okay exit the sketch go to your flow simulation right click on goals insert point goals why point goals because i have created a point you can also create surfaces as per the requirement but here i am just creating uh, points okay so select this point so what kind of things i want to calculate i want this point i want to know what is the total pressure here and what is the velocity at the inlet so click ok so select this and give it input pressure input total pressure and select this give it input velocity now right click on goals click on insert point goals again now this time select this point click on total pressure and velocity so output total pressure output select again and sorry press F2 output velocity now to calculate the difference we need, need to use equation gold so move down here click change in pressure enter the name of the equation change in pressure so we know that output pressure minus input pressure so basically this defines the change in pressure again right click on goals click on equation goal now enter change in velocity because this is what it's going to calculate so move down here click output velocity minus input velocity click ok now after that just click on run or you can click on global mesh local mesh and increase the mesh count remember higher the mesh count higher is the quality of your result but the problem is it will take a long time that is the reason uh, i am not going to uh, detail this part uh, currently it is 3 but if you go to 7 you will get a very good result but again it takes a lot of hours and i don't want to go in that part so i'm not just touching that so click on run click on run Here you have noticed that this box is quite big because the domain region is my quite big. Uh, I doesn't control the domain region while doing the simulation. So what kind of effect it do on simulation? It will just increase my time of simulation. I forget to do uh, uh, forget to do in the starting. Uh, if you want to know how to control this domain region and other things, 
check out the tutorial link in description i have worked on another video in which i totally explain how to control it so you can watch it and learn from it just in case if anybody wondering how to uh, bring these tabs so just click on the graph here and select the pin on which you want to see something properties and select the parameter you want to see after that just click on ok and you will get a new tab as per your requirement if you are doing the fluid simulation first time you might not see these kind of tab and their properties with respect ok so just follow the, this tab or you can watch the videos in the link in description I have properly explained how to do this you can also plot graph and your goals to see how they are changing now let's see what we get now go to results click on flow trajectories click on insert after that select the plane uh, for example here select front plane choose line with arrows 0 0.009 is ok for me 100 click ok here you will see the flute trajectory path right click on it click on play now main question what is the change in pressure so to see that just go downwards remember the cold plots so right click on it click on insert select all click show so here you will see our goal plots so here you see the change in pressure is minus 8.73 mega pascal sorry 8.73 pascal so what does it mean minus 8.73 so it basically means that when the fluid or our air passes through the blades its pressure decreases but in case of velocity its velocity increases uh, that is 3.532 and here you will see the average increase minimum increase maximum increase ok and if you want to import it as a graph you can also import it and click on export to excel and you can get the results and if you want to learn how to plot other graphs for example surface plots cut plots so simply just right click on insert select a plane as per your requirement increase the density click ok and here you will see the results and if you move this up, upward and downward you will get more better results and here you will see the change in velocity in the next video I will show you how to calculate the stress on the blades due to air uh, I hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste